Hello everybody, Kwip here, and welcome to another Destiny video. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you some information that may change the course of your life. And you can call this a warning, a PSA, the third testament of the Bible. I mean, you can make arguments for each of them, but regardless, it's something that just needs to be said. And that is that doors and doorways have just become blatantly overpowered. Like, let's rewind that. See, my teammate is just standing here, appearingly absolutely frozen. And so immediately, I knew there was something spooky about these maps. He wasn't moving, I'm coming out of this doorway and I noticed that, and he could not move the rest of the game. You see here, after that experience, he just wanted to end his life, get pushed off the edge, to stop his suffering. And then later, another man dies simply just of one shot of a hand cannon, leading me to believe that there are truly other forces at work at this map. And what I realized it had to come down to is doors. There are so many doors on Cauldron, and I believe that they may all be haunted. You see here, I start to believe it. I'm hesitant to come through this door. I'm shooting this guy with a hand cannon, get him half health, and I realize I have to pass through the door, so I reluctantly do, and immediately I'm incapable of doing any damage. I run up and melee him, do no damage, he does the same thing and kills me, because he didn't go through a doorway. So it's obvious that the doors have some power over you, and I believe they just neutralized all my powers. And then my suspicions were confirmed in this other doorway. I'm pursuing an enemy, I come through the door, and then my entire PS4 freezes. None of the buttons on my controller work, nothing works, and it's as if I'm paralyzed, as if I stared into the eyes of Medusa herself. I was like that for the rest of the game. Until I got anteater. Do you know how traumatic that is for someone? Oh, and it gets worse. I couldn't turn off the PS4 with my controller, so I had to press the button on the PS4 manually. Do you know how demeaning that is? I... Oh, God. It's like we're back in the Stone Age. Okay. Pull it together. By this point, I knew the doors had gotten too strong, and I just sat there thinking to myself, Bungie has nerfed all of these things. But why not the doors? How have the doors gone unnerfed? And to solve this, I decided to really break things down. First, I took the word door. What's door backwards? Rude, of course. If you remove one O from the word rude, what does that give you? It gives you rod. And then if you take the word bungee, bungee starts with the letter B. Another word that starts with the letter B is blaze. Blaze rods. Like in Minecraft. Yes, I'm talking about Minecraft. Where do you find blaze rods in Minecraft? In the nether. The nether is Minecraft's equivalent to hell. And following that line of thought, there can be no other conclusion other than that doors are the spawn of Satan himself. So this must mean that Bungie has made a deal with the devil. They're promising not to nerf doors, they're working together with them. But I'm telling you, that's something I can't stand for. We must stop it. Nerf doors 2017, hashtag it, make a movement. This has to stop. I, I need to go tell people about this. Wait, I, I feel something. Oh my god! I think I've really said too much. I have to go. Do everything in your power to stay away from the doors. Don't play Trials this weekend. It's a death trap. Doors everywhere. Terrible maps. It's just so bad. I, I have to go. Thanks for watching the video, and see you later.